What's going on guys? It's your boy Hypey Stan. We back with another one. Haven't uploaded a video in like three days. I've been feeling burnt out. And I don't want to put out bullshit content. I want to make y'all content with my content. You know what I'm saying? So I was here, I just landed, and um I'm in my hotel. And I hopped on Tinder and shit, right? And I caught myself. I'm like, yo, bro, you said you was gonna be on Mock Mode for 90 days, right? You've been celibate since the 14th of December, right? What the fuck are you doing on Tinder and shit, right? So I was with a link a girl, I'm like, fuck no, my purpose come first. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, let me fucking put out content before I go chill with a girl. I'm telling you, bro, when you're on the right track, the devil's gonna try to come and intervene with shit, you know, throw girls in your face or, you know, you know, make you extra horny and shit like that. But today's video topic is seven red flags to look for in females, you know, when you're on the talking stage. But let's get into it. One, when you go on her Instagram, right, it's nothing but half naked pictures, you know, showing her titties, sticking her flat ass out like this. Tell Dwayne to show that fucking flat ass, right? This type of girl's gonna give you a lot of issues, I swear to God. These girls are usually 304s. I ain't gonna say the words, I ain't trying to get man or cancer, you know what I'm saying? But this is a girl that requires a lot of male validation. This is the type of girl that later on in the relationship, she's gonna be replying to other dudes' DMs, she might cheat on you, and then you're gonna end up heartbroken like, oh my God, I try to be the best man possible. Bro, you can't change a 304. That's just a true nature. You know what I'm saying? Look at Megan Good. Wasn't she running through rappers early in her career, and then she settled down with a fucking good church guy, and then last year just divorced him out of nowhere? Because that church lifestyle was not her fucking nature. This fucking simp-ass motherfucker tried to change her. You can't change them. On the flip side of things, right? Girls would be like, oh, my boyfriend let me wear whatever I want to the club and shit like that because he could fight. These girls are delusional, bro. They, they think their boyfriends are the only ones that know how to fight. And then you look at their boyfriend, they're fucking 5'8", <laughs> 120 pounds. Are you dead ass? And guess what? Even if he knows how to fight, bro, there's a lot of men that know how to fight. You know what I'm saying? We're fucking men. Any grown man hits hard. All it takes is one hit to be knocked out. But everything in that boyfriend is Superman because he got a gun. Your boyfriend is the only one that got a gun? All my homies got guns? <laughs> like, come on, dog. These girls be crazy. And then, y'all go on their Instagrams, right? Y'all see they're half naked everywhere and shit like that. Posting mad sexual shit, you know, looking for attention. And these be the girls that be trying to wife. Oh, let me take you on a date. Like, dog, this is the type of girl I just, yeah, yeah, and push it aside. Come on, y'all gotta be smarter than this, dog. Y'all gotta stop seeing things from a surface level. When I say surface level, I mean from the outside, just looks. Looks ain't it. I'll take me a fucking seven who's, you know, average looking, but she's smart. She got goals and shit like that. Two, she got no fucking goals or hobbies, right? You know what's so crazy? A girl will tell you everything she wanted in a nigga, right? But ask yourself, where she see herself in five years? She's gonna be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> shit is fucking sad, dog. Like, at least go to the fucking gym. Do something, right? Shopping isn't a fucking hobby. And the reason this is a red flag because let's say you guys start dating, right? When y'all out chilling with the boys, she's gonna be telling you like, oh, you said you'd be home in two hours. It's been fucking three hours. So what's taking so long? Trust me, you don't want a needy, possessive girlfriend. She could be the baddest bitch in the world, but if she's needy and possessive, you're going to lose all attraction for her down the line, believe me. And that shit going to fuck with you mentally. Great. The big party girl. You know, you probably met her at a club or, you know, at a party, and you think she's the one who you guys connect and you guys dance and you have vibes, right? From my experience, bro, these party girls, they be whores getting, yeah, yeah, every weekend. You know what I'm saying? One night stands, trains ran on them, you know. Bro, <laughs> yo, these party girls, bro, they be out there, bro. And y'all be wifing them. From my experience, bro, there's nothing wrong with a girl partying, right? But usually when a girl fucks with you, she'll cut all the partying out naturally because she want to hang out with you 24-7. She's a fast reader with you. But if y'all talking and she's still in a party every weekend and shit, she going to cheat on you eventually. You know what she's going to say? Oh, it was a mistake. I didn't know. Um, It was a mistake. How the fuck is she in a mistake? Bro, when I'm drunk, bro, I know what the fuck I'm doing to a certain extent. I definitely do know what the fuck I'm doing to a certain extent. So, all that mistake shit, when girls shit on their boyfriends, I'll be laughing. And then dudes be like, yeah, you know what, it probably was a mistake or bullshit. Your girlfriend is a 304. Like, I done met many dudes, right, that took their girlfriend back after she cheated on them. You know, and they'll cry like, baby, it was a mistake, I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again. And then a dude sit there like a sucker, believing in tears, like, you know, you know what, I feel bad for her, I'm gonna take her back. Bro, if you take a girl back after she cheated on you, let another man inside them guts that's supposed to be yours, you a sucker. And I know a few of y'all gonna be watching, like, damn, like, my girl cheated on me and I'm with her still. You better leave her ass now. She don't respect you. Her eyes is rolling back for another man. She was throwing it back for another man. Are you crazy? Four, she's a cheater. She probably cheated on her man with you, right? Or y'all probably dating now. You probably thinking like, yeah, I got one up on him. I'll tell that nigga's bitch. I'm the man. I'm macho man, you know? Bro, no, you're not. She's a whore. You're dating a whore right now. The same way you get them is the same way you lose them. When a richer dude or a better looking dude come along, oh, she gone. This is a hypergamous woman you're dating. You know what I'm saying? She wants more and more and more. So when the next dude come along with, you know, flashing that money, a better body, a better lifestyle, <laughs> she gone. Swiping, no swiping. I know all the red pill raised dudes, they come in my comments talking about, oh, Aaron, all girls are, you know, hypergamous. I know this. But some girls are harder to take. And some girls go like this. You want the girl that's harder to take. She got more self-control. She don't react off a quick emotion or quick impulse. The more you know. 
five. She's hot and cold, right? You guys probably went on a date on a Friday. She ain't gonna text for a week. And during that week, you're stressing like, damn, did I do something wrong? Did she lose interest? No, she's probably going through a heartbreak or she's seeing multiple dudes. And you know what's crazy? These new bonding girls, they don't give a fuck. They'll tell you like, yeah, I'm seeing multiple dudes. I'm just testing my options. What the fuck you mean you testing your options? So, so she's seeing five dudes. She's definitely fucking two of them. And a girl like that, I'm not dealing with. There's too many STDs going around and shit like that. I only fuck one girl at a time. It's probably two max on my roster. You know what I'm saying? And y'all dudes be like, you know what? She's single. Yeah, she could do that. Okay, you're a fucking sucker. Any good girl I ever had in my life, bro, they could they committed to me early on. Gave me all of their time and attention. They wasn't talking to other dudes. But this new modern shit, oh, I'm seeing multiple dudes. What type of horse shit is that? But go ahead. If you want to fuck with a girl who's seeing multiple dudes, when she cheat on you down the line, <laughs> remember, hype beast told you. The fuck out of here. Or you know when y'all talking and you go to piss one day and it's burning like you gonna be like, damn, she burnt me. Hype beast was right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is gonna be the girl that's gonna cheat on you, right? When you're working 60 hours a week, you know, because she requires a lot of male validation. Oh, she don't get it from somewhere else. Don't be surprised. Hype beast told you. Six. She's got a relationship, but she's looking for another one already. This is a girl you want to avoid at all costs, believe me. These are signs of neediness, codependency. She's weak, and she can't be alone. And you don't want a girl like this at all. Girls like this are fucking needy and possessive and annoying. <laughs> believe me. Also, let's say her boyfriend cheated on her, right? Or did her filthy. She didn't give her time to heal. You know what I'm saying? She's heartbroken. So now when she get with you, she's going to be accusing you of cheating, and she's going to make your life hell. Like, for instance, my first love, right? Never did her dirty, never called me nothing, right? But since her ex cheated on her, did her dirty, when I when I got with her, bro, oh, it was fucking all hell. Accusing me of cheating. I hang with my boys. Oh, why is it taking this long? What are you doing? What bits are you chilling with? Bro, I wanted to murk her, bro. Seven. When you guys hang out, her phone is always on D&D. Do not disturb. You know what that means? She probably got a nigga, or she probably got ten. She's a whore just like you. And I want y'all to be whores, you know what I'm saying? She a player, dog. You know what I'm saying? She probably talking to 20 niggas, probably fucking five of them, and you wanted them. <laughs> and then she gonna be like, oh, no, I don't want nobody to disturb us when we're hanging out. I'm all about you. Don't buy the bullshit. Girls are fucking just like us, especially these bonding girls. They talking to 20 niggas. They probably fucking seven of them. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. So if you see her phone on D&D, just know there's a dude that behind the scenes, possibly a boyfriend she's going through shit with, or she's probably texting 10 dudes. I could spot a hoe, and I could sit right here just open the window. I could tell you that bitch is a hoe. Yeah. Here's the thing. She don't want to be embarrassed, right? If you guys are chilling and dudes are constantly texting her, you're seeing this shit. Now like, damn, does he think I'm a whore? Like, shit like that. Trust me, girls are smart. They're not fucking stupid, bro. They can act stupid, but they're not fucking stupid. They're smarter than us. But yeah, that's over today, guys. When you're dealing with girls on the talking stage, be very, very fucking careful and look out for them fucking red flags. You know, red flags look like fucking green flags when you really like the girl and she look mad good. Trust me, I fucking know. She got a fat ass, nice teeth. She an Instagram baddie, but be careful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, comment video topics. I see all your comments. I'm not that fucking famous. Like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm. And that's all. You know what I'm saying? Hype beast.